How to care for baby guppies. Guppies are a great addition to your aquarium and are easy to breed. However, the mother fish will eat her babies if they remain in the same tank. Luckily, you can care for your baby guppies by placing them in a separate tank or providing hiding spots. Additionally, create an environment that supports their growth and feed them frequently. As they grow, check them daily to ensure they're healthy. Separating your baby guppies. Place the pregnant guppy in a breeder net or separate tank, if you can. Fit the breeder net in the corner of your tank. As another option, place the mother fish in a separate, small tank until she gives birth. This way your baby guppies are born in a safe environment. For example, you might keep your pregnant fish in a small 5 US gal 19L tank until she gives birth. After they're born, the baby guppies can live in this tank until they're big enough to join your aquarium. You can find a fish breeder net at your local pet store or online. They're fairly inexpensive, as you can find some for around $10. Don't put the breeder net near the tank filter's pump, as the baby guppies might get sucked up into the filter. For example, you might keep your pregnant fish in a small 5 US gal 19L tank until she gives birth. After they're born, the baby guppies can live in this tank until they're big enough to join your aquarium. You can find a fish breeder net at your local pet store or online. They're fairly inexpensive, as you can find some for around $10. Don't put the breeder net near the tank filter's pump, as the baby guppies might get sucked up into the filter. Monitor the tank until the mother gives birth to live baby guppies. Unlike other fish, guppies don't lay eggs. That means your female guppy is going to give birth to live baby fish, which are called fry. You'll know your mother fish is in labor when you see her hiding or resting near the heater. Her color will look faded, her belly will look square, and she will appear to be swimming in place or shivering, which is really contractions. Guppies are typically pregnant from 22 to 40 days. Notice when the mother guppy is swimming normally. During labor, the mother guppy may pace or appear to swim backwards. When she's swimming calmly, you'll know the birth is over. The birth can take up to 6 hours but may be shorter. Newborn guppies are typically 7 to 10 mm 0.28 to 0.39 in long. They are usually transparent, but they may be slightly colored gray or black. Guppies typically have 20 to 50 babies at one time. Efference aria label equals link to reference 5. Greater than newborn guppies are typically 7 to 10 mm 0.28 to 0.39 in long. They are usually transparent, but they may be slightly colored gray or black. Guppies typically have 20 to 50 babies at one time. Remove the mother immediately after the birth or shell eat the babies. It's natural for the mother to eat her babies, so it's important to remove her as soon as you can. Use a fish net to scoop the mother from the breeder net or tank, then place her back in her regular habitat. If the babies are born inside a large aquarium, you can try removing the babies from the tank. However, this can be difficult since the babies are so small and are easily injured. It's much easier to remove the adult fish. If the babies are born inside a large aquarium, you can try removing the babies from the tank. However, this can be difficult since the babies are so small and are easily injured. It's much easier to remove the adult fish. Fill your tank with plants if you don't want to separate the baby guppies. Place real or artificial plants in multiple places in the aquarium. Group two or three plants close together to form a safe hiding place for the baby guppies. They will attempt to hide in the plants so that the adult fish won't eat them. Using plants will prevent the adult fish from eating all of the baby guppies, but it's likely that some of the babies will still get eaten. The only way to guarantee the babies won't get eaten is to place them in a separate tank. Efference 8. Greater than using plants will prevent the adult fish from eating all of the baby guppies, but it's likely that some of the babies will still get eaten. The only way to guarantee the babies won't get eaten is to place them in a separate tank.